Good evening, Hello, everybody. Yes, good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. I'm Spastic, and we have Chibi Chen and other people. Uh, I'm one of these other people. What's up? I'm Chibi Chen. Chibi and I'm Hello. Joe. Once again. I... And I, this I, is... I'm gonna be okay after getting gap, killed chapter by Satan. Six. Yes, this is Critiquing of Mind the Gap, okay. Chapter 6. Live. Follow your pride. Alrighty. All right, let us begin. All right. Okay. As you all know, for a little recap, the last scene ended with Aya nearly crashing into Isaac and Yukari after Isaac had just finished eating at a diner in Gensokyo, in the human village more specifically. And she came with news that the Tengu village was under attack. This is picking up right where we left off. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Isaac jumped back a little, her words taking a few moments to register in his head. What do you mean? He grabbed her arms. A single thought ran through his head, a thought of bloody feathers, but his mind wouldn't connect it to anything he knew. I, I had just gotten back, and I was about to start planning out tomorrow's papers when a friend of mine came. What? Oh yeah, yeah. sorry. Uh, school. That's what. That's all I'm gonna blame it on. <laughs> when a friend of mine came and told me to check outside, I went over and she shuddered. There were hundreds of them. Human, yokai. I think I even saw a few tengu. They they attacked us without warning. The worst part was people from inside the city were attacking each other. It was like a civil war. She said and looked a little guilty. She had gotten away but she had left all those people behind to face the army. They they were led by a human, a gappy like you. Aya pulled away from him and stood next to Yukari. I'm afraid Isaac here is not one of the ones behind this. I fear he is an unfortunate side effect to whoever is leading this army's plan. Yukari said and put her parasol down, resting both her hands on it like it was a cane. This is bad news. I was afraid, I'm afraid we won't be able to have you apologize to Raymu. I will take you to the shrine, Isaac, and you will wait there for this to blow over. She said, a black line opening. Then it hit Isaac like a ton of bricks. Another outsider leading an army. There was only one other outsider he had seen since entering this world. His mind went back to the man who had sat across from him. He had seen him before, standing above a crowd. He was the one preaching. All the people listening to him. They were human, and as far as he could tell, as far as he could guess, yokai. He gathered an army in hours by preaching to them, by making them believe he was the man to follow. He even offered him in the last chapter that... Indeed he did. Yeah. So, now they're attacking... I was gonna mention, tiger. I'm gonna do a little illustrated thing, uh... Just a minor grammar thing, it's, uh... When you, uh... Like before words, like, it's often a common, then Yes, Ozzy, I know words, that. Then inversely. Sorry, uh, Ozzy was pointing out that Tengu are a type of yokai. Oh. No, I was talking about the, the grammar situation. I have illustrated here on the stream, uh, it's often a comma precedes the thing, or afterwards. Like, words, 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 comma, said, person. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, that's something I should probably fix. Okay, just a minor thing. Yeah, I know, uh, but it, as I've seen before, it's minor things that often can make or break the story. Well, it's less about story continue? than just readability. Said words, 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 words. Oh, said person, not words. <laughs> yeah, as I said before, as I said in the last one, I think, I will, as soon as I'm finished with the entire story, I'm going to jump back, re-watch all of these videos, and then fix everything according to the critiques I got. Alrighty. I'm gonna start, I gotta start publishing these. Then I gotta continue I very up. much, I very much would like to eat a pie. Thank you. Hmm. Pie right. is good for you. Back okay. to, ch back to chapter six. Uh, where was I? Alright. Isaac blinked. What if he had tried that on me? 
Maybe that's what I felt. That feeling of slimy evil. Maybe that's why I felt so odd talking to him. Notice I repeated a grammar. I had a grammar mistake there. Two eyes. My bad. He thought the feeling coming back to him before being replaced with guilt. I could have stopped this. I knew the guy was bad news, and I let him go. Isaac felt the color drain from his face. This is my fault. Isaac, follow us. We must get to the Hakare Shrine, and this is the fastest way. Yukari commanded, grabbing his arm without warning and dragging him into a world of nightmares. The first thing he saw, all around him, were thousands upon thousands of eyes, staring at him and the other two as they passed. This place unnerved Isaac beyond anything he had ever seen. The other two with him were perfectly fine, like this was a normal, everyday thing for them. When Isaac saw an opening in front of them, he was overjoyed. It had only been a moment or two. This place had already pushed his mind to a very, very dark place. He stepped out of the gap and looked around, seeing the building he had woken up in around them. That wouldn't help him, but between the thoughts of guilt and the unnerving dimension he had just gone through, he wasn't about to comment on being back. You wrote down, I didn't help him, and you said wouldn't. <laughs> and I'm back. Wait, Welcome back. what? Where? That didn't help him part. Uh... Oh, uh, well then. Whoops. Oh well. Continue. Derp -de <laughs> yeah, derp -de -do. Continue. All right. It wasn't long before the single girl in the shrine noticed that. What are you doing back here? She said, standing up, putting her cup of tea down. Remu, there is an incident. Now is not the time to be fighting with someone who has nothing to do with this. Yukari said, Really? Because I think kicking a Gappy's ass is always a good idea. She said, she stood tall, watching as Aya stood between them. Remu, Yukari is right. The Tengu village is under attack by an actual Gappy. We need you and Marissa to help, stop us, help us stop the army. Aya said, looking a little worried about her home and her friends. Aya, all right, let me get the yin-yang orbs and Yukari to get Marissa, and then we'll take care of this. She said, putting a hand on Aya's shoulder, then walking to the other room. Remu, Isaac called, following Remu out of the room. I know you don't like me, but I need to come with you. I have to help out somehow, Isaac said, trying to keep from sounding like he was begging. Why should I let a gappy like you come with us? All you want is the glory of being the one to solve this. And from what I saw in the village, you don't even know how to use Don Ma. I know, but I need to go. This, this is all my fault, he whispered, causing Remu to turn and glare at him. The orbs around her were spinning faster than buzz saws. How did you cause this? She yelled, rushing forward and grabbing his shirt. The, the gap, he came to me. He tried to get me to work with him. I didn't realize it, but he was using something on me. He was trying to convince me with some sort of magic or something, Isaac said, looking down like he had just admitted to murder. That is something the Gappies seem to be able to do. They have some sort of power here. It's like wearing their heart on their sleeves, and some people can see it. The ones who can't, it seems they fall under some sort of... Oh. That could be how he, how this man got an army so quickly without anyone noticing it. You know what's Wait. funny? I'm act I can actually read it on the stream. <laughs> hey, who's who's speaking right now? Uh, uh Rain. Oh, then there's no uh, audio, there's no dialogue tag. Oh, uh, my bad. I'll fix that. Um, I could have stopped him. You have to let me. Uh, Isaac stopped as a hand went across his face, leaving a bright red imprint. Uh, redundancy. <laughs> a bright red imprint over the black mark. Shut up. I know you haven't, I haven't given you a fair chance, and if what you said is true, you have nothing to do with this. I know in your world there is crime. Is it your fault if you meet a thief and he steals from someone? No, so stop blaming yourself. You didn't know. There was nothing you could have done if you hadn't. She sighed and looked to him. 
Once you car is back, I'll get her to take you to the cafe. Maybe they have something that'll make it so you still survive long enough to be of use. She said and looked to him, a worried smile on her face, trying to look confident for someone's sake, perhaps her own. Hmm. It's all right. Nice. I did quite enjoy this chapter. Even though I wasn't here for most of it, sounds pretty damn awesome. Yeah, once again, I am genuinely pretty alright with this so far. Same. He's even Feels going like to meet the Kappa. After we tore down everything in Diamond in the Rough, this builds everything right back up. Mm-hmm. There's there's a reason I actually introduced the fact that yeah. Kappa's had C4. He has, he has a wrench as well, so he could use that. Yeah, but uh, physical attacks don't really work. Yeah, because yeah, in, I'm in the rough. Well, it's more canon that the yokai aren't affected by physical attack. Mm-hmm. Not Here just are, though. To diamond in the rough. Yeah, it's like in perfect Monoto in the strict sense in the entry on yokai. Anyways, so we, what should we do now since this is over? Uh, last know, minute that's questions. All I have, if I unless can... you guys have questions, comments, suggestions, yada yada yada, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I am looking forward to more. That's pretty much what you guys are. Yeah. Fuck. I know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The la- the next chapter will be him going to the yokai. Uh, not the yokai. The kappa. 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 Yeah. Bitch. Uh, I'm tempted to have Nitri in there, but as you said before, uh, Spastic, I don't really want to include any characters that will only be there for one scene. Yeah. Unless it's just like they were there and it's a cameo and then they leave. Yeah. Which I'm thinking I might do with Race in, in a, in near the end. No, right. not even soon. Why the hell would he be in Gen Sokyo anyway? Well, he did make uh, uh, Gen Sokyo into a thing. Why would he be in Gen Sokyo anyway? Well, in uh, one of the songs, I think Zune was actually uh, introduced only as a dark, uh, mysterious character. Has you, have you seen the where ha- the Hot Grey Shine had like a festival? Oh. Um, that's not strictly canon. That's more of a fan-made works. Mm. Where Famous have 